Motorhead, the British heavy rock band, were not renowned for their good behavior. In 1976, after playing a set at the Punkaroka Midnight Sun Festival in Finland, the trio were warned by the pilot of the airliner on which they were flying home that they would be arrested if they disturbed the other passengers. On hearing this, the guitarist Fast Eddie Clark poured a vodka and orange down the back of the neck of the person sitting in front of him. Chaos ensued. This behavior was relatively unusual for Clark, who has died aged 67 after being treated for pneumonia. While his fellow Ians in Motorhead, the singer Ian Lemmy Kilmister and drummer Phil Filthy Animal Taylor, were renowned for dozens of alcohol and drug-fueled escapades in the rock and roll tradition, Clark was far less extroverted. As the quiet member of the band, he was the glue between the two extreme personalities, focusing on delivering accomplished guitar riffs and solos. The classic albums he recorded alongside Lemmy and Filthy during his six years 1976-82 as a member of Motorhead are still regarded by the band's fans as the best. Eddie Clark with Lemmy, Center, and Phil Taylor in 1980. Photograph, Rex, Shutterstock born in Twickenham, southwest London, Clark took up the guitar in his mid-teens, inspired by Eric Clapton, John Mayall and other British blues guitar heroes of the 1960s. He began to work his way through a series of bands, the best known of which was used alongside the U.S. Ian Curtis Knight, in which Clark wrote to accompany Knight's lyrics. He left Zeus to form another band, Blue Goose, which released a self-titled album in 1974, and then moved to an outfit called Continuous Performance with the bassist Charlie Tumahai. In order to raise funds for Continuous Performance, Clark took a job as a renovator on a houseboat on the Thames at the end of 1975. Motorhead, then a year into their careers, were looking for a second guitarist, and Taylor, whom Clark had recruited for a job on the houseboat, asked him if he wanted to join. With nothing to lose, Clark agreed, later recalling, I didn't have anything on at the time and Lemmy had a bit of a reputation, so it was a chance for me to be in a band that already had a foothold. I took the gig without really considering the side of it. Although Clark was slightly taken aback when the guitarist Larry Wallace suddenly quit the band, leaving him as a member of a trio rather than the quartet which Lemmy had envisaged, he settled in quickly to the new group. His nickname was bestowed upon him by Lemmy during an in-concert introduction to the audience. Clark's arrival led to a change in Motorhead's fortunes. The following year, the band embarked on their classic period, a four-year run of landmark albums including Motorhead 1977, Bomber 1979, Overkill also 1979 and Ace of Spades 1980, the last of these supplying the hit of the same name. A chart-topping live album, No Sleep Till Hammersmith, was released in 1981 and cemented Motorhead's reputation. Meanwhile, the trio were also building a name for their consumption of alcohol and speed. Although Clark had been neither a drinker nor a drug user before joining the band, he soon acquired a taste for both. He gave them up after a successful spell in rehab in later life. Motorhead playing Ace of Spades When Motorhead played live, few bands from the hard rock or heavy metal genres, both of which terms suited there, could equal them, with Clark's live blues influence playing a highlight of the However, the album Iron Fist 1982 marked the beginning of a slow commercial decline for Motorhead, compounded by the poor reception of their cover of Tammy Wynette's Stand By Your Man the same year. Clark disliked the, saying, it ed awful to me, the whole thing I thought that was badly paced, I thought the amount of chords they were putting in was wrong, but Lemmy would not budge, and we had a fucking row about it. He left Motorhead soon after the S release, although the circumstances of his departure were never why clarified. Lemmy later stated that Clark left of his own accord after making several promises to do so. The guitarist himself explained, Filthy, was the main instigator in my being excluded from the band. Notice I do not call it leaving, as it was not my choice. I had imagined dying on stage with Motorhead, so it was a blow when they didn't want me in the band any longer. After Motorhead, Clark formed Fastway with a sometime UFO bassist Pete Way. The partnership seemed to have potential, but Way departed to join Ozzy Osbourne's band before they could make much progress. Clark continued with the band, recruiting a new lineup and going on to record five studio albums with Fastway through the 80s. 
His subsequent recorded output was patchy, consisting mostly of guest performances, short-lived collaborations and nostalgic one-off reunions with Motorhead, although a fast way set at the Download Festival in 2007, featuring Toby Jepsen of the rock band Little Angels on vocals, was enthusiastically received, as was his solo album Make My Day, Back to Blues 2014, Fast Eddie Clark Edward Allen Clark, guitarist, born 5 October 1950, died 10 January 2018.